Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial today. The brand of makeup that I'm going to be wearing today is Shein. So I'm not too sure if some of you will know what Shein is, but I think and as far as I know you have Shein and then you have Romwe so the two of them together are online websites for clothing, shoes, handbags and accessories. I will try to like put up some clips on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. This is their makeup here. Now I couldn't actually get a full face of the Shein brand so I also had to get some of another brand's makeup that they also had within their website and it's called She Glam and I think there's something else as well. Yeah, Magic Nation. This is definitely Korean, Japanese or Chinese or something because it has that writing. Some of the quality of like the Shein owned brand's products looks really really good. Like this is the packaging. Like, as you can see it kind of reminds me of NARS. It kind of has like that soft touch. I also got these wee liquid eyeshadow sets. I'm also going to show you the eyeshadow palettes that I have to work with today because I think they are honestly they are so beautiful. The first one is from the Magic Nation brand and it's called the Diamond Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is beautiful! I'm gonna give these a close-up so you can actually see like these are like full-on press glitters and there's actually like a bit of plastic over them and so that the glitter doesn't actually get into any of the matte and shimmer shades. Definitely reminds me of one of the Huda Beauty palettes so I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be using that in today's tutorial or not because I just want to mainly focus on the actual Shein palette. That's the palette there again it is absolutely gorgeous these shades here are pressed glitters and then we have some shimmer shades and then we also have our matte shades as well so i think i'm going to leave that other shadow palette out and then i'm just going to be using this palette today i think i'm going to be taking this shade first of all i know this sounds really silly but i'm not going to zoom in too much because my eyebrows are pretty hairy at the minute i'm growing them out <laughs> and i'm having a bit of a situation with my skin at the minute I literally woke up with all of these this morning and they're literally like wee whiteheads. I do not know what is going on. They're like literal wee bumps. A tad frustrating. So I'm just going to be fucking this shade just in the outer crease, I suppose, for now. I think I'm going to do a spotlight eye and use one of the pressed glitters. So then in that case, I'm just going to also be taking this shade, I'm just going to be blending that in the inner corner. And then back to the outer corner. So far, there definitely is pigment and it seems to be blending out perfect actually. Like, I'm not having any issues with that so far. I'm so sorry like, that you have to look at my diseased face. <laughs> But still just going back in, trying to blend up the intensity in the inner and outer corner. And then I think I might just go in with this shade here. And I'm also just going to pack that just right down at the corner. I'm going to pack on some of the pigment first of all and then go back and blend it. See if we can get this a little bit more intense. Just tap off the excess and I'm now just going to blend that out. I am pretty impressed by that so far. So I'm going to take a flat packing brush, if I can find one. Going back into the palette again, I'm going to be taking this shade here, packing on first of all and then going in and blending after. I'm just going to be building up and packing on the shade just as I go. I'm not wanting too much too soon, if that makes sense, because I'm still a wee bit weary, like it's fine, it's blending out fine, and the pigment seems okay, but the fact that it's a spotlight eye, and spotlight eyes can be quite difficult to achieve anyway, um, I'm just trying to be super careful. Okay, so I just went off camera there to have a wee bit of a play with the other eye and I've started to apply a wee bit of the glitter. I will zoom it in a wee bit so you can actually see because I think I'm having a wee bit of an issue with the blending. So I'm not too sure if you can see like this slight situation that's going, that's going on here. Um, I'm just going to take the Helen A Fix Gel, just fluff this on just up the center. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> And then, and with this shade here, 
just like really press it on so that there's not like any excess just sitting there. Okay guys, so I'm actually not really happy about that at all. I don't know what's going on. So instead of me doing a spotlight eye, I'm just going to go back into the Helen A Fix Gel. And I'm going to apply that just all over the lid. So we're now actually just going to have a full on glittery lid. I think this is definitely one of these palettes that... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> If you're doing something that's pretty simple and it doesn't take a lot of blending, everything like that, I kind of find that it will work fine for you. But if you're doing, say, like a cut crease or a spotlight eye or something in particular, it might be a wee bit tricky in terms of the blending and like using the glitters and everything because it was fine. It was honestly fine until I started to apply the third matte shade. I'm not too sure if this is complete and or madness, but I'm going to use my finger. I'm just going to start by pressing that just on the lid. That looks awful. <laughs> okay, so we're nearly on to the base makeup. I just need to sort out my false lashes. So I just got these and there are so many different pairs and types of light eyelashes on the Shein website. So I just thought I would get this two pack because I just kind of thought it was quite cute. And it's the Luxury Lashes. That's literally all it says. Again, they're from like Korea or somewhere like that. But the lashes inside look actually very, very nice. They come out in like a wee drawer. And you get two sets. And I actually think they look quite nice. I'll give you a bit of a close-up. Um, I think I might wear the bottom lashes. Because I think my eyes are a wee bit dark. And there's just a lot going on for these ones. So I think these ones here might be a wee bit more flattering. The first thing I really want to talk about is the packaging of this product and the way it's presented. I'm just going to open it up and let you actually see it. Like this was, I have it up on the website here, this was $3.99. $3.99. It comes in a wee velvet pouch and a frosted glass bottle and this is like a matte soft touch. Hi. <laughs> and a pump too. The only thing it has to prove now is how well it actually works. So on the box it does claim to be a silky matte liquid foundation and it says that it is a flawless coverage. So obviously matte that's what I look for in a foundation and flawless coverage because I like my heavy duty foundation. The shade I did get was 105 natural because I knew that whenever I was going to be doing this video I was going to have a wee bit of tan on. I have primed by the way and I use the Becca First Light Priming Fuller. I'm actually loving this wee primer at the minute. I wanted to use a primer that I know that is going to work pretty well with my skin and any foundation. I wasn't wanting to use like a pore filling primer or anything that I knew that could maybe sabotage how this actually performs. So I'm just going to be applying this with a beauty blender. See them spots though, like that is such a sickener. I cannot get a break with my skin at the minute. blendability it is blending out really really well it's not mask like on my skin it's not really really heavy it does claim to be full coverage but then at the side it also claims to be a silky matte finish for a beautiful natural look that's soft and refreshed I would actually agree with that more than actually them claiming that it's a full coverage foundation. I actually will try and build it up just to see for the purpose of the video does it build up will it build up like you can still see my skin texture, you can still see my breakouts, my pores, you know, like you can still see like just overall my skin texture. My skin just still looks like skin and it's just a really nice healthy coverage. Like it's not a complete mask to what I usually go for. It. <laughs> I've just put my exposure down quite a bit so you can definitely see the true colour of the foundation and how my skin actually looks. I obviously don't use a filler or anything in my videos so you can definitely see what the foundation actually looks like and I am so impressed but it just has dried down to like a really nice like comfortable matte. It's not really really dry and flecky looking so I would definitely say that it's more of like a satin matte but it's still so, so nice. Like the finish of this foundation so far 
is so so nice and I know it's literally just fresh on. Next up we have concealer and this is from the brand She Glam and it's in the shade Light 02 and this is a creamy concealer. I actually really like the packaging of this as well, it's like holographic. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Do you know what I was meant to do? I was meant to do just one side, blend out, and actually show you, like, the difference. Okay. Whenever I'm blending out my concealer, I just really like to focus mainly in this wee triangle section here. And just press it in first, and then bring it down the sides of my nose, and around my mouth area. And then just blend out the excess. It's definitely concealed. It 100% has concealed. There is no doubt about that. You can definitely see. I always like to bring my concealer up like quite far, like nearly into my waterline. And you can definitely see that it's concealed. But it hasn't brightened. <laughs> That's really not that bad. I'll zoom you in again. It's blended out absolutely seamless. It is sitting seamless. It hasn't like went all funky with the foundation. So the two of them work perfectly together. Okay, my lovelies. So next up we have a face powder and this is by, again, She Glam. I happen to get pearl whites and that's the packaging. The packaging is actually quite nice. It's kind of like a, you know, like Fenty Beauty highlighters, the way it's like pure white, but then it has like a holographic like reflect to it I suppose. It's kind of like the HD powder from Makeup Forever if anybody has ever seen or experienced that. So the one thing I'm actually worrying about a wee bit about this powder is the fact that I don't want it to be like a HD powder because I do not like those at all and it is so finely milled my goodness that honestly it feels like silk. I actually like this. I absolutely love powder puffs these days. And because I'm a wee bit scared and I'm a bit of a pussy, I'm going to start blending this off or buffing this off like straight away. <laughs> Do you know what I say? That seems to look okay. So I think I might actually let this sit for a couple of minutes and see how we go. Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of the powder. It has done its job. It has set perfectly. My under eyes look perfectly fine. But one thing I have noticed is... Whenever I was tech, whenever I took off the back, I noticed that I had a wee bit of like shimmer here. So as I was saying that this is a pearl white powder and this kind of has a wee bit of a sheen to it. You can definitely see like here there's a wee bit of sheen. That's actually the one thing I like about it surprisingly but I'm not too sure about how I actually feel about it other ways. Like it hasn't necessarily brightened or anything like that but I don't know. I don't know. There wasn't that many highlighters to be honest, but this is the Face Shimmer Powder. And I got mine in the shade, Jesus, Champagne Gold 03. I'm just hoping that this isn't really, really dark. Give it a wee swatchy piece. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad. It's a tad subtle for me, but I also have this. She Glam again highlighter palette but in this it also has I think a couple of bronzing shades because I noticed that they didn't have like a like a single bronzer or anything. These are all highlighting shades and then the bronzer. Mm, they're a wee bit powdery, they're not the best. I just dug my finger in that but we'll see. First of all I'm just going to be taking this one here. I'm going to take on a fan brush. It's no Colourpop Flexitarian, put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to change brushes to my Morphe M510 brush. I'm just going to focus it here on the top of the cheekbone just so I can see if I can intense this wee bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely worked. I love, love, love a fan brush for my first highlight. Just as like an all over glow, just over the entire face basically, especially at the highest points. But for my more intense highlight, which is usually my second highlight, I always like to go in with a more dense wee brush. 
just so I can really focus it at the highest points. So I bought two blushers, I do not know why, and they are both from Shea Glam. I have the Face Palette Powder in the shade Tangerine, and I have the Shea Glam Just Blusher, and it's in the shade Roman Holiday. This one reminds me of Fenty Beauty, obviously, by the shape. So that's very, very pink. I'm not too sure if I want to use that today or not. So we'll have a wee nosy at this wee one. So I'm not too sure if you can see it or not, but oh yeah, you can. But it's like a gradient blush, so it kind of has like a wee bit of an ombre situation going on. What is that? Um, so yeah, I'll probably just use this one actually. Looks quite nice. And I'm just going to take some from the middle. And then just work that just into the cheeks, just blending it into the highlight. If you are new here, I always apply my highlight first, then my blush, and then my bronzer. I always apply a lot of highlight. And because of that, I'm always kind of, like I always have like a big massive landing strip situation going on. So that's why I always like to blend my blush into my highlight. So that it doesn't look so stripy. And then I also blend my bronzer like into everything else so it all just comes together really nicely. Now to bronze up Z Skin. I'm going to go in with this Stereo Skin Stereo Face. <laughs> Six colour cosmetics disc. Easy to have three dimensional contours. She Glam Highlighter Palette. Well that was a mouthful. Okay so due to the fact that I'm still bronzing I think I like this bronzer. <laughs> I think I need to stop now. <laughs> yeah, it's pigmented and all, like as you can see, but it's not like super, super pigmented where it's like full blown pigment straight off. But I actually like the fact that I was able to actually build it up. And it's actually a very, very nice color. It's not too dark, it's not too orange, it's not too cool toned. Now for lips. So this is again, not from Shein itself, but the brand She Glam. And this is a Star Velvet Lip Glaze set. And this is 01 Youth. So it comes with a set of three like mini style liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch all three of them so you can see. But there are so many types of these. There is like berry tones, nudes, reds, burgundies. They don't actually have names, they just have numbers. So this is E3. So that's E3, E1. Lastly, we have a red and this is Y2. Whoa, that is a pick. That is gorgeous, oh yes. I think we all know what shade I'm gonna go for and it's this one here. So it's the more pale nude out of the two. So this wee one here. You know guys, I am honestly so, so impressed by this makeup trail. Yeah, this is obviously the completed look. I am so, so happy with how my makeup looks. Just a wee quick run through with all the products. The eyeshadow palette, this wee one here. To start off with, I was having no problems. It was great, it was grand. But whenever it was time to start blending more than one or two of the matte shades together and using the shimmer shades and whatever, that's whenever it started to kind of mess up a wee bit. I just kind of find that it just was proved to be a wee bit difficult to actually blend whenever you were starting to work with one or two more shades and the pressed glitters weren't necessarily the best. They did apply fine eventually. My base makeup, so we have foundation, concealer, blush, highlight, powder and bronzer. Everything, everything was absolutely perfect. I am so blown away by this foundation. If I'm filming tomorrow, which I don't think I am actually, um, I might actually wear this and try it again and again and again and see how I really do feel about it. But my first impression is 100% yes, definitely. On the website at the minute and on the app, it's sitting at £3.99. So a £4 foundation, you can't really go wrong. The powder, I'm definitely wanting to use again. I really, really liked the wee sheen that it gave to my skin. It kind of reminded me of the powders that Jaclyn Hill has came out with, but just not as intense as hers. Maybe just a wee bit more subtle, obviously. The lip products, I have no faults at all in the lip products. They are completely matte, they are not sticky. 
So I just give you another wee bit of a close up of my skin. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy with how my makeup looks at the minute. It's just, it's amazing. I, I just cannot believe like all these products have actually worked so, so well. Honestly guys, I will try my hardest to link everything down below in the description box. And if I can't link it, it will definitely be listed because you can't necessarily link something whenever it's through an app. So I will try my hardest. Other than that, thank you all so, so much for joining me in today's video. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. And also also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video.